Okay, guys, today we're talking about shoulder development. Proper way to train shoulders, get them to grow. Probably the most important video that I've done with regards to me because the shoulder injuries I've had from playing football. I had to reteach myself how to do shoulders, how to do them properly in order to get them to grow. <sighs> Again, before we start this video, remove the ego out of the equation. You want to, you want to, you know, be a strong guy, be a power lifter, weight lifter, you want to take juice, whatever, get the fuck out of here, man. Wrong videos. Go find someone else's shit to do. We're here about working naturally, the hard way, the right way. Intensity combined with intuition. Putting the ego aside and using proper form. Prevent injury, create growth, create discipline of mind, doing things the right way. You want to be a cheater? Go be a fucking cheater. Cheaters and losers go hand in hand. Life, it, it, it's irrevocably in life. Cheat, you lose. 100%. Let's get started. All right, shoulders today. Talking about doing our active warm up and lateral raises at the same time. Why do we do an active warm up? Pre pumping the muscle, getting that area ready to go before we go into pressing. This prevents injury, also allows us to grow faster. We're already warmed up. That muscle group we're going to work is stimulated. So when we go into our pressing movements, we can build mass. We're not wasting sets warming up. I'm doing lateral raises. I'm a fan of doing lateral raises seated so I can't move. There's no you know, cheating involved. This is a, a light movement. I've got 15 pound dumbbells here. Take the ego out, do them right. A lot of guys in the gym are swinging, going like this. You're not working the outside of the shoulder, the medial deltoid. You're working your back. You're gonna put stress on your forearms, your biceps. Good posture. When you lead, you want to lead with your elbow coming higher than your hand, just slightly. But as you get to the top, everything stays almost in one plane. That's how we hit this, the medial deltoid of our shoulder, the outside, to give us width to our shoulders. If you're coming up like this, you're going to hurt yourself and you're also working your rear delt. Okay? We're going to start our shoulder warm up just like we would do with chest. Five to six sets, 15 reps, nice and slow. Notice I can only come down. I'm hitting my thighs with the weight and I have to come right back up. We call it constant tension. Remember, time under tension <coughs> creates an overload of stress on the muscle and allows us to grow. <sighs> Another thing is, a lot of guys, when you get tired, when you can no longer get the weight up to here, you're stopping your set. Working deltoids, these, these small shoulder muscles, the one muscle group, you don't have to have full range of motion to work it. So as you get more tired, you can only get to here each time or get to here. Keep going. Work to your 15, your 18 reps. Burning out that shoulder, that's how you're gonna get the definition of striations in your shoulders, how you get the growth. Don't just do eight or 10 and stop. These are higher rep exercises. You know, 12, 15, maybe even more reps, okay? So, say if I get to my 15th rep and I can barely get to here, keep going. If you can only get to here, by the time you get to the end of your set, if you're only here, that's fine. You're still working that muscle, squeezing. Come to the top, try to pause if you can. I'm telling you guys, focus on your form. I guarantee you're gonna see a transition into growth, into definition in the muscle. I see a lot of people in the gym, they, they, they look smooth year round. Part of that is definitely due to diet. Part of that's also not doing exercises correctly. When you constantly do form the right way, you recruit all the muscle fibers. You're not lacking in different areas. You're gonna have definition in that whole shoulder, the front of the shoulder, the, the, the middle of it, the rear part of the delt. That's what we want. A well-balanced physique, proportional physique, but it's also functional. We're doing things the right way. Not injuring ourselves, allowing us to grow. Try to send your workout, start, see the lateral raises before you go into the presses, prevent injury, increase growth. Okay, I'm not going to go into doing dumbbell presses or hammer strength press. All I'm going to say about that is full range of motion, guys. Keep the reps high, 12 to 15 reps. Don't be trying to do six to eight reps how you hurt yourself. Okay, I've had four shoulder surgeries from, from all my football years. So for me, especially my most recent shoulder surgery, it was very difficult to get shoulder development back. I had a tough time activating that area. So I've grown more towards specific area shoulder training. Uh, I still do, you know, traditional dumbbell presses. Um, you know, hammer strength press, but exercise I love, Frank Seppi turned me on to this, is a reverse grip front shoulder press with a barbell. Driving the elbow underneath the hand, hitting the front of the shoulder. It's important, guys, 
Anytime you're pressing or doing a lateral or front raise, don't just move the weight. Squeeze that area. When you do a front raise, squeeze, squeeze this area. Lateral raise, squeeze that medial deltoid. Rear delt move, squeeze. That's how you grow. It's no different when we press. If you're just pressing weight, just going like this, you're just fucking pressing weight. You're gonna take a lot, of, use a lot of tricep, very little shoulder. You're not getting blood in on that area. Be a muscle builder, not a weightlifter. If you want to build muscle, if you don't want to build muscle, if you want to fucking you know be a meathead and, and take juice, then these are the wrong videos. Get the fuck out of here. Go be a douchebag. Okay. Good form, reverse grip press, driving up. But as I'm coming up, remember I'm squeezing my upper shoulder, squeezing that front delt, getting blood in there, taking a the negative down, nice and slow. I'll demonstrate. Take a nice, slow, controlled negative. Drive up, full squeeze at the top. Down. Don't need a lot of weight, guys. So we're reverse, reverse grip front press. Squeezing. Again, keep the reps high, 12 to 15. Three to four sets, my last set. Strip off half the weight, burn it out, 25 reps. Anytime you're doing these isolation exercises, that last set, get a good drop set hip failure. When you overload that area with stress, the muscle has no excuse but to grow as compensation for the overloading of stress. Let me say it again. When you overload a muscle with stress, more than it can handle, it responds by getting bigger to compensate. If you're just doing four sets of 12, you're not overloading shit. Right? You're wasting fucking time. 